Lying on the Tibetan plateau, known as the roof of the world, Tibet is a land of deeply religious souls. The combination of the Buddhist culture with the secular culture has resulted in many interesting local festivals, among which the Shotong festival is the second largest, next only to the Tibetan New Year. The Shotong Festival is a traditional event celebrated each year between the end of June and the beginning of July, according to the Tibetan calendar calculation. It is held during the beautiful summer season in Lhasa, the Pearl of Tibet. With the trees turning green, flowers blooming in a riot of color, and choruses of birds chirping, a light-hearted spirit fills the city. When snow falls on the surrounding mountains, the landscape is even more spectacular. The Shotan festival begins with the Jonpo, or Shining Buddha ceremony, in the Drapong Monastery. On the eve of this ceremony, there is a full night of rituals and celebrations. On that night, the lamas line up in orderly rows, facing toward Lhasa, to play the deep bass, solemn Buddhist horns. As the legion of lamas wind their way slowly toward the mountain, bunches of fragrant grass and wood are burnt along the way setting off auspicious smoke everywhere. Amidst the smoke and surrounded by the crowd, the lamas carry the folded scroll of a velvet and satin portrait of Buddha, which is later revealed to the pilgrims for their worship and prayer. Crowds of people bearing the pure white hada or auspicious scars, homemade yogurt, and deep devotion in their souls throng to the Drapung Monastery and gather under the shining Buddha cliff where they pray for the cleansing of their souls. Buddhist followers look forward to becoming chosen as the portrait carriers, so as to show their respect to the Buddha and all deities, and to receive blessings. During the morning, the horns are blown, the crowd becomes quiet, and the shining Buddha ceremony begins. The Lama's guttural sutra chanting soars into the sky. The residents of Lhasa, at the foot of the mountain, listen quietly to this holy message. The portrait scroll is slowly unfolded as the procession moves higher up the mountain, and the serene, compassionate face of Sakyamuni is gradually revealed. The entire portrait, an enormous portrait of Buddha in colored satin, is gradually unfolded over the slope of the shining Buddha cliff. The followers kneel in the face of this powerful scene. Their wish to get closer to Buddha is expressed in their constant prayer. The Shotan festival began as a purely religious activity, originated in the Drapung Monastery in the middle of the 11th century. It was later adopted in Norbalinka and the Patala Palace. Today, the Shotan festival is celebrated in all three places. Over the centuries, the Shotan festival developed into a festival featuring gifts of yogurt. In the Tibetan language, sho means yogurt and ton means offer.
Why is yogurt connected with this festival? It has something to do with the principle of avoiding harm to all living beings, articulated throughout some 300 Buddhist commandments. In Tibet, all lamas are obliged to go into seclusion between June 15th and July 30th by the Tibetan calendar, eating only small amounts of simple food. Concerned about the lama's health, the Buddhist followers began to present the lamas and living Buddha with yogurt, which they made with utmost care. In the mid-17th century, the Shotan Festival was transformed into an important occasion for Tibetan opera performances, infusing entertainment with religious beliefs. Thus, the Shotan Festival is also called the Tibetan Opera Festival. The Tibetan opera, a traditional art form in Tibet, originated 600 years ago. During its long course of development, the Tibetan opera has evolved into a whole set of performance styles in various schools. It has its own distinct characteristics, both in theme and form. Generally, the Tibetan opera consists of three parts, the opening, the opera, and the song and dance. The Tibetan opera has a large repertoire. A conventional performance usually involves different characters, which are clearly identifiable by the material, design, and color of the specially made masks they wear. The Tibetan opera is a very engaging art, which often brings laughter and tears from its audiences. The center of activities in the Shotan Festival lies in Norba Linka, located in the western suburb of Lhasa. Linka in Tibetan means park, and Norba Linka means jewel park. Originally the summer resort of the Dalai Lama and an exclusive garden for the Dalai and distinguished personages, the park is now a public place for the people. According to traditional customs of the Tibetan Autonomous Region, Several days of holiday are observed during the Shotan festival. Now, Norbalenka has become a bustling venue for cultural activities, commercial trade, and goods exchange during the Shotan festival. The Shotan Festival holiday is not only a tribute to the Tibetan opera, but also a grand gathering of all sorts of performing arts groups from across Tibet. It is a pageant of diversified art programs, a party featuring good wine, food, and smiling faces, a ceremony to unite the mortal world with heaven, and a time of happiness for all to enjoy.